Who's the boss? The abrupt question perfectly sums up the idea behind the plot of this 80s sitcom television series. Because I guess a story about a single dad who works as a housekeeper resonated with audiences. I'm sorry, there must be a mistake. This job is for a housekeeper. That's me, Mr. Goodman. While folks from the 80s fondly remember it, I don't think it ever got the credit it deserved. Like many other sitcoms of its day, it blends humor and family drama with exquisite finesse but still manages to deliver something else, something more visceral and impactful. So, it should come as no surprise that after being nominated for more than three dozen awards, including ten prestigious primetime Emmys, people still revisit the quirky days of Tony Maselli and Angela Bauer's time in Fairfield, Connecticut. What are you laughing at? The show consistently ranked in the top 10 of final primetime ratings, which was no small feat for its time. So, is it any secret why the show and cast of Who's the Boss is still adored and discussed? While the show itself was amazing, not just for nostalgic reasons but because the cast was insanely talented, and the chemistry between them was stellar, just look at how Tony Danza and Judith Light's characters perfectly complemented each other on set and in real life. Few can overshadow the two's dynamic on-screen relationship, except maybe for the quick wit of Catherine Hellman's Mona, because God knows it takes a heck of a good actress to make the character what it was. Come on, Wally, let's blow this pop stand. Which begs the question, where are they now? Where else has the talented cast of Who's the Boss been able to revolutionize television or film? That's not an easy question to answer, but I suppose we can start with this man. Tony Danza played Tony Maselli, the single dad who was also a former Major League Baseball player whose career was cut short because of an injury. It might surprise you that before acting, Tony Danza made a career out of sports. Still, unlike his mild-mannered character, Tony was a renowned boxer before he ever set his eyes towards acting. The Brooklyn Brawler, as he was coyly named, grew up on Long Island and earned a wrestling scholarship to the University of Dubuque in Iowa. By 1975, he had become a professional boxer, and a pretty good one. Fighting as a middleweight, he compiled a 9-3 record with 9 KOs, 7 of which were in the first round. Acting came to him completely by chance. Yeah, maybe we could defrost... Those salmon steaks? Yeah, because the other night we had... Exactly, when you have too much... It makes you feel... During one of his workouts, he was spotted for a role in Taxi, and since then has been juggling the two professions before he realized that he could be spending more time with his scripts. This eventually paved the way for him to get into acting full-time, and shortly after that, he found himself in the cast of Who's the Boss at the age of 33. He would star in numerous shows, such as Family Law in 2002 and his Tony Danza show. Danza, even now at the age of 71, continues to act, and you might have caught glimpses of his performance in Don John, or more recently, in a 2022 episode of Blue Bloods. His career has been so prolific that he has amassed a fortune of $40 million. Danza's first marriage was to Rhonda Yeoman. They wed in 1970 and divorced in 1974. Did you know their son Mark appeared with Tony on Taxi in two episodes as the affable Brian Sims? He later went on to remarry Tracy Robinson in 1986, but sadly that too ended in separation. Speaking of divorce, Angela Bauer, played by Judith Light, is a divorced advertising executive creating the perfect contrast to Tony's loving father figure. After her breakout role in One Life to Live in 1977, she quickly propelled herself to stardom by earning two back-to-back -back daytime Emmys for lead actress. This quickly made her an obvious candidate for Angela Bauer at the age of 35, which, suffice to say, she knocked it out of the park. Well, you can imagine how surprised I was. By the time the 2000s rolled around, her success would only grow as she made a name for herself in TV by playing Judge Elizabeth Donnelly on Law & Order SVU. Light was also a Broadway star, talking about multi-talented. She experienced success for her work on Other Desert Cities and the assembled parties winning awards for them in 2012 and 2013. Besides being a part of the popular comedy Ugly Betty, one of her most recent roles is part of the HBO series Julia, about Julia Child, the renowned cooking teacher. And today, even at age 73, she still succeeds with an astounding net worth of $16 million. She has been married to actor Robert Desiderio since 1985 after they both met on One Life to Live. While the couple has no children, they share an inseparable bond, proving that Judith is nothing like her divorcee representation of Angela. But if you needed any other reason to love her, know that Judith is heavily involved in advocating for the rights of the LGBTQ community and, more importantly, those with HIV and AIDS. I get to talk about my advocacy for the LGBT community.
Alyssa Milano plays Samantha, aka the daughter of Tony Maselli. She gleefully played the part of the New York teenager, but of course, this might not have been much of a challenge for Alyssa considering she was born and raised in Brooklyn. Being cast in Who's the Boss at age 12 was a matter of honor for her. She had to beat out 1,500 girls auditioning for the same role. But the price of winning this role, she had to relocate 3,000 miles west to Hollywood. But hey, at least she got to keep her accent. Over the years since then, Milano has adopted several memorable roles, from Jennifer Mancini in Melrose Place to Phoebe Hallowell in Charmed. And if you think the youth would confine herself to acting after such a fortuitous gift, you've got another thing coming. She also broke into the music scene and released her first album, Look Into My Heart, in 1989 at just 16. Talk about ambition. Milano has just about done it all, from starring in quirky commercials to dropping albums and establishing her own apparel line for female baseball fans. There is nothing too grand for this talented actress. Unlike many child stars, Milano quickly discovered that the key to longevity in this industry is to grow and expand, and she did just that. That's why, at 49, she continues to act, popping up in 2022's Brazen and the Netflix show Insatiable. Milano had some life issues and didn't fare well in that department. After a brief marriage to Sinjun Tate in 1999, Milano married David Bugliari in 2009. She is now the proud mother of two children with a net worth of over $10 million. In direct contrast to Alyssa's role as Samantha, we have Jonathan Bauer played by Danny Pintaro. In the show, he perfectly encapsulates what it means to be an annoying little brother. Danny's career began at the tender age of two when he landed a role in a commercial for Tylenol. From there, he appeared in several TV shows and movies before landing the role of Jonathan Bauer on Who's the Boss in 1984. Thanks to his adorable smile and natural acting ability, Danny quickly became a fan favorite. In addition to his work on Who's the Boss, Danny has appeared in several other TV shows and movies, including Cujo, The Benneker Gang, and The New Lassie. He also has experience in theater, having performed in several off-Broadway productions. He married Will Tabaris in 2014, and the couple has a son. However, his personal life has also been marked by challenges, including struggles with addiction and a public disclosure of his HIV-positive status in 2015. Despite these challenges, Danny became and has remained a strong advocate for HIV awareness and even today continues to work in the entertainment industry, amassing a net worth of $600,000. Did you know that Danny was the young Youngest actor to be made a series regular on Who's the Boss at age 6? He also has a close relationship with his co-stars, including Tony Danza. Unlike Alyssa, Danny Pintaro didn't crave the limelight too much and became a recluse, often struggling with his public image after he admitted that he was HIV positive back in 2015. At 46 years old, Danny Pintaro is a talented actor who has left his mark on the entertainment industry. The cast of Who's the Boss from the 1980s will always be remembered as one of the best. Their dynamic, on-screen chemistry was nothing short of amazing, with each actor bringing a unique personality and charm to the show. Just say the secret word, Angela. <laughs> the acting was superb and the cast fit perfectly. Tony Danza is a warm and caring yet overprotective father. Judith Light is an uptight, conservative executive. Alyssa Milano and Danny Pintaro played the indifferent children perfectly. They revolutionized the entertainment industry, breaking down barriers and paving the way for future shows. Although it was a comedy with its corny moments, it was very touching, with just the right amount of laughter and suspense. You have a lovely home and you're so pretty. Thank you. I'm very flattered. That's the idea. It was great and arguably one of the best comedies of its kind. 